Morning, Steve Free in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Prices are a little bit higher overnight. Beans up about five cents, corn two, and wheat anywhere from five to six cents higher. Uh, oats continue uh, to trade higher and make new highs. <clears throat> Behind me is uh, a local country elevator here in northern Illinois. Uh, the USDA estimated that 79% of the bean crop is harvested versus 86 last year. Also, 74% of the corn is harvested versus 86 last year. And right now, farmers are making uh, big decisions on whether or not they should uh, sell grain off the combine at these prices, or should they pay for storage and look to see if we could see higher prices uh, down the road. I think when we get talking about 1250 January beans, that's the upper end of the trading range, and we right now uh, are seeing our exports running about 37% behind a year ago. And we, uh, the window for U.S. exports might be um, closing with uh, talk that uh, Brazil might have beans available uh, for January. And in that time slot, uh, they are cheaper than U.S. Uh, export prices. We're still trying to figure out China's demand. Um, there was talk about <clears throat> more uh, electrical shortages, um, there's concern about their economic growth with PMI data lower than what expected. And the Chinese government has asked its citizens to put together uh, some kind of storage for the winter of essential items. And so all these things raises some concern about their soybean demand uh, down the road. The um, <clears throat> Matif rapeseed futures making new contracts highs, C Canada making new highs, um, and when we look at the Dalian on futures, beans are higher, while meal and palm and soybean oil are lower. USDA said that um, our exports and corn's running 22% behind last year, but these corn uh, made new highs since August 12th. And <clears throat> we also noted that um, there may have been some professional buying yesterday in corn on some of the breakout of these uh, price levels. Here again, the farmer must make a decision on uh, what he has left to harvest if he should sell it across the scale. Um, there was a private estimate of the soybean crop uh, came out uh, plus 0.6 bushels per acre or 51.9 or adds 50 million bushels to the bean crop. They uh, added a bushel to the corn yield from USDA, which adds 100 million bushels uh, to the corn crop. On the S&Ds, we could see the USDA lower uh, soybean exports and move the carryout closer to 400 million bushels. In the corn, we'll see if they want to be aggressive and raise ethanol usage, feed usage, and exports, even though we're running behind uh, pace to, to meet their number, and bring the carryout maybe down closer to 1,300 versus 1,500. Um, <clears throat> we did see the Matif corn prices making new highs. Um, and that uh, their inflation and their ammonia prices are at 13-year highs. The Saudi and Egypt tender shows that uh, buyers are hand-to-mouth willing to pay higher prices, which could mean suggest uh, higher uh, futures in the wheat. KC wheat's at seven-year highs, Chicago Board of Trade nine-year highs, Minneapolis 10-year highs. USDA estimated that 45% of the winter wheat crop is good to excellent, down one percentage points. And the Russian prices continue to trade higher. Matif wheat is at 13-year highs, only 2 euros below uh, the 2008 high. As always, uh, these are my thoughts. Have a good trading day.